My name is Atini Ngaira. I just saw someone my name was. I'm Gladys, Mrs. Juma. Yeah, I'm the principal of Mombasa School. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, my name is Ali Moses Sumbiri, in charge of guidance and counseling. My name is Teacher Catherine. I'm a KG2 teacher. Yeah, yeah, I'm Mr. Moniki, SOS Mombasa Kenya, head of uh, the learning support department. And we have children. That's our policy. Every child has to subject is maths. I like the school because they do the teaching well and also on the scout commander which I like it. I help many of the students. I like even the teaching in the school because the teachers are fair. They listen to the children. We have um, children uh, with special needs, you know, different types. We have those that are acute, those that are mild. We have those that are physically challenged. Then we have those that are mentally challenged. But uh, like in Mombasa here, you cannot even know the figures of those children because the parents hide them. They are embarrassed or they feel that it's like, it's still stigma to them to be, to have their children go to normal schools or even the integrated schools, they will not allow. And what becomes the fate of the child at, at that point? Well, they, 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 just, they just become a fixture in the house and uh, if it's a girl, Maybe an arranged marriage in future. For the boys, they are just left like that. You will end up seeing these boys just roaming all over the place. I think in SOS here in Mombasa, about five years ago, we, we, we felt we wanted to do something about it. And uh, we decided to embark on training our teachers at the certificate level. My name is Pumis. And what grade are you in? I am class three. I am eight years old. We do have autistic children, we do have dyslexic children, but uh, we try to limit the numbers because uh, we can take in 30 students per class and we have one teacher you know, to teach. And of course, you know, these children require maybe just a little bit more of attention, so we, 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 and we cannot afford to take on more teachers. We would love to, but well, this is not, not, not uh, at our disposal. Yeah. My name is Masi Wasera. And what grade are you in? Class plus one. Okay, we are really opening the doors wide open. We have taken on board. We have a, a teacher who is a, 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 a side challenge. You know, he's, he's totally blind. And, and he's fitted in without any problem. Well, SOS is moving towards inclusion. And that's why a person like myself up here. And, uh, we having children of all sorts. And therefore, one thing I would say is that there's need to you know, to achieve inclusion, especially even in the ICT field, is that uh, we have the relevant software, the relevant resources uh, to aid in teaching such children because, like, you find children with special needs which uh, will need uh, extra resources apart from the, 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 the other uh, able bodied children. Uh, and so, probably, if we could get sponsors who are uh, interested in that area to help boost our ICT department in terms of software. But it's also good to know what other teachers do outside there. Yeah? and uh, in exchanging ideas. And what we are doing, we are buying from the stationery, we are also buying the uh, textbooks, we are also uh, providing uh, all tuition material. <laughs> and also for the children in the lower section and in the kindergarten, we are also giving them a small slack. Okay. So when you look at the expense and the fee, in fact, we can't actually break even. <laughs> we actually can't really break even. We kind of like spend all that we receive. Child again, yeah. So that's where we are. What's your name? Jane. Nice to meet you. How old are you? Seven. I just deal with students who have uh, different problems. Uh, it could be coming from emanating from home. It could be sometimes at, at school, but. Uh, I work uh, with my colleagues to ensure that at least we help the students so that they can settle down and concentrate uh, in learning. My name is Vincent Otem. I am a 
So it's my work to ensure that I work in collaboration with other teachers within the school, with the administration. I come up with the programs. So I champion these programs to ensure that at least we are able to help these children uh, to grow up in a very good way. been teaching in SOS for the last 10 years now. Still going strong in the profession. Yes. We normally assist the children from the village who have difficulties in reading and in number. We make them come in the afternoon. We assist them. And if a child has improved, there's no need for the child to be coming back in the afternoon. Say yes. hi. <laughs> Do you like your school? Yes. What's your favorite subject? Math? Math? Yes. How about you guys? Math. English? Yes. But uh, every child has the right to learn, whatever level the child is in. Because uh, the children are not of the same level. We have children at uh, different levels of learning and understanding. The children we admit, some of the children we admit, we admit them from uh, very poor backgrounds where they have to take time to be counseled, to be guided before they come in line with what you do in the school. We have an uh, introduction of what he calls the weekly virtues, what the child is supposed to practice every day. Right? For example, we have the virtue of the faithfulness, you know that. So we carry on that every week we give or we establish, we introduce a new virtue. Kindness. What are I supposed to practice this week? We are practicing kindly. So whatever you are doing, do it kindly, right? We are practicing what? We are practicing patience. Whatever you are doing this week, be patient. So that virtue is carried along with each other. Welcome to SOS, it's a very good school. Come and join us and you will not regret. Thank you.